So it's taken us about an hour and a half to drive from Charlottesville to where we are now, which is Patience Hill. So we're invited here by um, Arnon and his brother Nigel, who hold this open house harvest celebration every year. Um, well, have done for the last few few years, and it's a, it's a renowned party of the of the area. And uh, yeah. It's very similar to our harvest festivals that we have in the UK or in, in Europe, except here they had more than one harvest a year for the different crops. So there appears to be uh, at different times of the year they have different, different festivals. But it's transformed now from um, a true harvest festival into uh, an excuse for a party. Great, what else? So let's go and see what's on offer. They pick them, they pick them out there. There's a big bunch of them over there from the junk. But that's the that's the big leaf thyme that the lady was telling me about the other day that she had cooked the lentils with. We don't get that at home. Yeah, we call it the He's now putting in the guana, so he's growing the meat. We call it a curry stew. Right. And this is curried iguana? Curry stew. Curry stew. Curry stew. Curry stew. Curry stew. So everything gets curry. Curry stew, yeah. Everything gets curry. Kind of, yeah. Well, Steve's come to the right place. Correct. If I don't cook curry at least twice a week, I get in trouble. <laughs> So, no, quick hand wash. Yeah. <laughs> Hygiene at all times, you know. So the view overlooking, uh, this is the western end of Tobago. This is from their balcony. How about that? Greeting you every morning before you head off to work. Stunning colours of the water out there and the reef. <laughs> Everything. Come on. This is dumpling we're mixing here, right? Dumpling. It's dumpling? Yeah. yeah. This is flour, cornmeal, a little sugar, some salt, water, and then chung li mix it up. Wow. That's it. We don't use anything else. That's it. And Just it? Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. So, this is this is Arnon. Yeah, Arnon. Good on you. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, you're welcome. Brilliant. Anytime. Brilliant. Anytime. And. Uh, Good old English name, Nigel. 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 Nigel, you are a uh, police, a port police officer. Yes, I'm a port police officer. I'm sure all your colleagues will love seeing you in your, your <laughs> hair net. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. When, yeah. when we cook, we keep the hair off. Oh, no, I don't have no hair yeah. on my head, you know. I yeah, but it. look how much hair he's got. <laughs> yeah. And the guy doing the mixing is uh, Chong Lee. Yeah. Chong Lee. Yeah, Are you one of the brothers? Cousin. Cousin. Cousin? Yeah. Cousin. Yeah. What? Like a brother too. Like a brother. Yeah, yeah. I'm mixing the dumpling here right now. One meal dumpling. All the dumplings, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to taste these dumplings. One meal dumpling. This is the woman of the house. This is Tate. This, this is the iguana. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. And it's all been cooked up, and now you're gonna, yeah. just going to put it in there to keep it hot? Yes. Do you see how tall they are? They're a brilliant idea, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They do you this, uh, pet. Okay. This is a pet to them. Just give away an idea for my burns night. Yeah. yeah. Right. Come, come back. Come, so come, these... come. So the cooked food goes into the uh, hot food safe. And that will keep it hot now. But that's one thing we've noticed here. They use cool boxes to actually keep food warm as well as uh, keep food cool. The two brothers. I'm beginning to see why these guys were so good at cricket. Um, these are these are what they're calling their spoons. Uh, to me, they look like a, a cricket bat. <laughs> yeah, I see. That's that's why you guys were so good at cricket. Learning from their moms. Yeah. Ali's well into the kitchen now and uh, and, and all the cooking that's going on. And in goes the uh, in goes the crab. Smells lovely. So this is where they're uh, mixing down some garlic and oil, heating it up first of all. And he's just told me this is for cayman. I'm not sure whether it's... Uh... That's sugar. So that's sugar. So, they've melted down the uh, garlic and the sugar, and they've added a cayman. And they make it into really quite a black caramel. Yeah. So, now they've covered the cayman just to let it all cook in its own juices. Well, that's one way to wash your hands, Ali. Yeah. It's Don't raining. Don't always wait for the rain, though. <laughs> okay. Well, the herbs here don't look anything. Well, this is about the most closely rese one resembling anything we have at home. Tarragon, but I don't think my tarragon at home has yellow flowers, so... This stuff here, I don't know what it is, but it tastes like... It tastes like sage. This has got a different shaped leaf, but it's like marjoram we would have at home. And the chives are about triple size to what we get back home. So it looks like Ali's uh, decided that it's had enough cooking and she's digging out a crab curry. And that's going to be placed in one of these um, co uh, well, cooler oven? No, uh, ovens that they have. Keep it hot. That's a red crop. <laughs> Aaron's just said it's uh, Ali's restaurant. There's the two brothers there. Good shot of the two brothers. 
all their hard work going into this. Well, and Ellie's as well. I think I think they're quite quite relieved they've got another cook in, in the house today. Looks too good to eat. I know it's What's it like, Ali? Good. Tastes good. Yeah, Real good. Real good. Shame you're allergic, Stevie. Yeah. You missed my masterpiece. So this is the Cayman uh, after it's been cooking for about half an hour in the stock. And it's how much longer before it's ready? About 45 minutes. About another 45 minutes to cook. All the cooking is done on these uh, gas rings. But you can see this one has a, basically a tyre to help hold these enormous pots in place when they're full of food and boiling. Hang in this one, Ali. Oh, these are the dumplings being cooked. I'm stirring it. She's stirring it again. It's a very steamy business. Well, I just asked him how they stop them all from sticking to each other when they're done. And he said, well, first they wash them off and then they stick a bit of boiling to stop the sticking. Um. <laughs> this is um, like a uh, pumpkin and, uh, and carrot. And carrot and a bit of salt and some seasoning, and he's just cooking it up. And at the end, gets a load of cornmeal in, and they call it cuckoo. So now they've added the cornmeal. Yeah, two bags full. Two bags. And a little drop more water. Yeah, well, half a pot full of cornmeal. Some more water. Yeah. That's coconut going in. Will it tell give me right? And what's that got in? Huh? What's that ingredient that's just got in? That's the butter? Yeah, butter. Yeah, butter. So why the banana leaf? Well, they want the banana leaf to be right on top of the stuff. If they just used a normal lid, it would be too far away, and a skin would form on the top of the cornmeal. And when you break it up, it would just make lumps in the stuff. So it, to prevent the skin from forming, they put the banana leaf right on the surface of the cornmeal. I'm a movie star. This is my cousin here. Tell me to get one and some. <laughs> Can I see them? Look at him. Good. Look at him. Huh? <laughs> oh, well. Come right there. Uncle. Hello. Did they buy it? No, you won't buy it too. You won't buy it too. You won't buy it? Uh -uh, you won't buy it too. You're a sweetie. You guys are so shy, you can't get near them. Yeah, that's bad. Uncle! I'm mean, like, come on. Come on, come on, come on, watch this. I'm here to see the speciality here with snake. And uh, this is what it is. Okay. There's lots of little... Yeah, little bones. Little bones all through it. Yeah. Full of oh. little bones, is it? Yeah. 
You see all those look like little teeth sticking out. They're all a bit of bone. Would you like to try it? Just one tiny, tiny piece. So now what does it taste like compared to spice here? Yeah? Mm. More meaty than fishy. He said it might be something a bit like shark. So this is this is anaconda that Ali's trying. Looks like she's enjoying it. Make sure I get the chef. Eh? Make sure I get the chef. Yeah, make sure you get the chef. <laughs> And these are the two two chefs so that prepared it. We want to see that one on YouTube showing <laughs> the snake chefs. So if you fancy trying anaconda, yeah. you've got to come to Tobago. <laughs> So this is your niece. Yeah, this is my niece. This is my cousin. Yeah. Hi, hi. And she's just started doing a hair salon. Yeah, we said this will be like wow. established. Put all here, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I must say, I don't think she's going to get a lot of money out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's uh, late on in the afternoon. We've had a great time here. We've been shown all sorts of things, all the Caribbean cooking. Ali's had a great time playing uh, cooking and um, trying the snake and one thing and another. And uh, it's time for us to start heading heading back. It's only 40, kilom 40 kilometres back to Charlottesville. But that's going to take us a good hour and a half and lovely little hire car but mm, two candles of head as headlights and uh, we had a hell of a job the other night uh, traveling along along the road after dark so we're going to get as far back as we can before it gets too dark okay well we'll catch you up again with some more insights to tobago